Good day and welcome to our YouTube channel called Get Weather Smart for the South African Weather Service. My name is Mbabi Maliage and in this YouTube channel we will be discussing um, some quarterly weather patterns that have occurred over the country and any interesting weather phenomena that has occurred. Hi, I'm Jackie Mudika and I will be joining Mbabi in educating you Mzanzi on the interesting weather patterns we can expect this season. In this first episode, we will be covering thunderstorms and heat wave conditions. Now, officially, our summer months are December, January, and February. But already in August and early spring, we had been experiencing some really high temperatures where we already had had our first 30 degree mark um, in August already. Um, today's topics that we're going to be discussing is thunderstorms, which is summer's favorite topic and summer's not so favorite topic, heat waves. So if you have lived through a South African summer, you would have experienced one of the two phenomena that we will be discussing. So with thunderstorms, you've either been caught in one, you've either felt one, um, or you've either heard one. Now, what we have found as forecasters on the desk, um, it always sparks an interesting debate, is severe thunderstorms. It's always a point of confusion, and it's always a thing that people always have more questions to ask about. Let's start by looking rather at the basic definition of a thunderstorm. According to the South African Weather Service, a thunderstorm is classified as severe when it contains or produces one or more of the following, hail that is large larger than 19 millimeters or other 1.9 centimeters, even if it's only few, large amounts of small hail, strong gusty winds in association with a thunderstorm, flash flooding, and tornadoes. One thing to always keep in mind is that more than one of these parameters can occur at the same time in one thunderstorm. Now, in order for us to identify the above parameters in a thunderstorm, we use satellite, radar, and observations, as well as social media feedback. Looking at the satellite image, we can see the severe thunderstorm over Hrobler-Risdal. And then the radar also indicate the extent of the severity indicated by the hook echo. The hail in the next picture shows the effect or the result of this particular severe thunderstorm. Let's look at the not so popular um, phenomena, which is heat waves. Now, to get the basic definition out of the way, a heat wave occurs when we have three consecutive days with maximum temperature meeting or even exceeding five degrees greater than the average maximum of the hottest month of that particular station in that region. This threshold differs for specific regions depending on the climate of the area. So here's a map of the thresholds of the different uh, heat wave over the country. Another concern from the expected warmer conditions is the high discomfort. This occurs when temperatures is more than 38 degrees Celsius and the humidity is high at the same time. When the humidity in the air is high, the warmer moisture stays on your skin longer, making us feel even hotter. This reduces a human's ability to cool the body through sweating. This can be a real threat that can lead to heat-related conditions such as dehydration, fatigue, muscle cramps, heat exhaustion, fainting, and even heat stroke. Something to take note of, especially when receiving alerts on any of these conditions, is that heat waves occur over a longer period and high discomfort occur only in a day. Now it's time to take a look at our seasonal projection for our maximum temperatures for the months of November, December and January. It's quite evident that we can expect warmer temperatures considering that there's a higher likelihood of us going into an El Nino phase. Higher temperatures mean more occurrences of heat waves as well as high discomfort conditions should be expected in the coming season. Yes, that's true Mbavi. So in the light of the expected conditions, here's a few pre precautionary measures um, that we should take during heat wave occurrences. Reduce or even avoid outdoor activity. Also opt to limit them to the morning and evening. Stay in a cooler place and use a wet cloth on your neck and your face. Drink regular water to replace the salts and minerals the body loses through heavy sweating. Avoid meals that are hot and rich in protein since these increase metabolic rates which increase the amount of heat the body must dissipate. Avoid drinking alcohol. Limit very cold drinks as they can cause stomach cramps. Wear lightweight, light colored 
and loose fitting clothing and avoid exposing the skin to the sun. And that's all that we have time for for today. So during thunderstorms, remember to keep safe and to keep hydrated on those really hot days when we have heat waves and when we have high discomfort days. Now to keep uh, updated on current weather issues, please follow us on our Twitter page at South African Weather Service, as well as on our website, which is www.weathersa.co.za or on our Facebook page, the South African Weather Service. So that's a wrap from me too. Till we meet again, stay cool.